Sure, so I'm from Sydney, Australia. Uh, I grew up in the lovely suburbs of Vaucluse, attended Cranbrook High School. Whenever I describe where I'm from to Americans, I usually just say about 10 minutes from Bondi Beach. Yeah, so London Olympic Games was a very memorable experience for me. Um, yeah, I went into the competition with quite high expectations of myself, but fortunately I didn't have too many external pressures. I probably wasn't expected to make the final. I came in ranked 28th and managed to progress through and winning my heat and then getting me into the semi-final and scraping through as the fastest non-automatic qualifier into the final was very exhilarating for me and I was so happy to be able to share the experience with a lot of family and friends in London who really made it what, it, what I think of the London experience today. So my track to medicine probably kicked off when I was about 14. My father is an orthopedic surgeon and my mother didn't want me to do medicine. She tried to keep me away from it as long as possible. But at the age of 14, I did a aid trip with my dad to Tonga. And it was on that trip that, you know, after seeing exactly what doctors do and the joy that they bring to a whole bunch of people is when I decided that that's exactly what I'm doing. I try and get involved with a lot on campus. Uh, currently, I'm serving as one of the junior class presidents, which involves a lot of planning activities and fun things for the junior class. I also throw myself into kind of activities that I wouldn't get the chance to do it again if I wasn't at Stanford. So I've taken Indian dance classes, I've taken water aerobics and a whole bunch of stuff that I've just thrown myself in and have a bunch of fun with. Favourite class at Stanford would be my first class I ever took here, which was Anne Freelander's human physiology class. I remember emailing Dr. Freelander as a freshman uh, in my fall quarter, first quarter at Stanford asking if I could enter this upper division human biology class and she basically sent a response saying absolutely sure and yeah it was just a wonderful time I was very motivated to to do that of just coming off London Olympic Games so that was definitely my favorite class so if I was to give myself some advice for freshman Steve probably wouldn't change all that much freshman year was one of the best years of my life and maybe one thing that I could have maybe done a little bit more was get to know everybody in my dorm. I kind of had a niche group of friends, but it would have been nice to really get to know a whole bunch of people. Absolutely, I have guilty pleasure, and it is chocolate. I go every day eating chocolate, and even in times where I probably shouldn't really try and focus on the diet, it's, it's something that it just gives me my sweet tooth and gives me a kick, and I just love it. If I had unlimited resources, I would distribute them as much as I can to try and improve world equality. I would probably live a very much the same way that I currently live, uh, very privileged to have grown up without having any real big pressures uh, put on myself or my family, so I would just try and give as many opportunities like that to as many people as I could. So don't live by a personal philosophy, I guess a quote that kind of stuck by me in my junior year of high school was one made by my PE teacher Sam Carroll who came into lecture and it said, Nobody climbs a mountain to get halfway. And I'm not much of a quotes guy, but that one really hit me. I kind of use it in a lot of the things I do, be it on the track or off the track. Uh, the idea of giving yourself 100% into everything and never committing halfway. And I feel like once you've done that, you can never have any regrets in what you do. So I really like that. Future plans, uh, on the short term, we got the Rio Olympic Games next year. Certainly gonna gear up towards that, try and put myself in the best position that I can to be successful there. And then long term after that, I'm looking looking towards medi medicine. So I think the biggest thing that I've learned about myself since being here is how little I knew before I got here. Uh, I think I've grown so much as a person in my last three years here and hopefully another one or two years still to come. And I think I've learned a great deal about other people, which has really helped shaping the way that I see the world. If I was to use one word to describe myself, it would be Moden. Hashtag Moden. <laughs> Can you tell us why? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've got a lot of friends from... No, I'm sorry, that again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're bad, I've done this a lot of times, so I know how we just... Yeah. This is perfect, nothing. <laughs> no.